What is up everyone? This is Jojo the Techie. We all know what a strange and difficult year 2020 has been, but it's also been a year for technology to shine and become a huge part of how us humans connected. Now that the year is almost over, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about the tech gadgets that I acquired in 2020 and what role each of them played in my life. All of the gadgets mentioned will be down in the description below and make sure to stick around to the end because I'm giving away a Chromecast with Google TV to one of you lucky people. Let's get into it. It's no secret that the Lenovo Chromebook Duet has been one of the most exciting tablets to come out this year. But it's not just any tablet, it's a Chrome OS tablet. This means you can run a full Chrome browser on it as well as PWAs and Android apps. This is by far my favorite device to consume media. Another thing that makes the Duet even better is its support of USI Stylus technology, which I take full advantage of using the Lenovo USI Pen. This pen aids me with note-taking and creative tasks that require a bit more precision than what a mouse pointer can offer. But when I need to immerse myself in a project, I prefer a more traditional laptop form factor, and for this I have chosen the Pixelbook Go. Just like the Duet, the Pixelbook Go runs on Chrome OS and has support for Android apps and Linux. This is my main production machine. However, as good as the keyboard on the Pixelbook Go is, when it comes to being productive, I much prefer to use a full-size keyboard and mouse. This is why I've chosen the Logitech K580 keyboard and M355 mouse combo. They pair up with all my Chrome devices perfectly, without any lag, and are very comfortable to use. Speaking of productivity, as a video creator, I've learned that having expanded storage is extremely important. Those videos and rough cuts take up a lot of space. To expand the storage space on my Pixelbook Go, I use the SanDisk Extreme 1TB Solid State External Drive. It is super light and portable, not to mention fast. I edit and store my videos directly on it. When editing video, I like to immerse myself in the process, especially since there is music and or voiceovers involved. To make sure I am not disturbed by what's happening around me, I use the Sony WH-CH710N wireless noise canceling over the ear headphones. Sure, these are not premium quality like the very popular Sony M4s, but if you're on a budget, these cost almost $200 less and do the trick just fine. Now, when I started this channel, I began by filming straight from my phone. However, I quickly realized I wanted my footage to have a more professional look. As a beginner, the Sony ZV-1 20.1 megapixel digital camera is perfect for me. I have learned little by little how to take better videos with it, and its convenient point and shoot size allows me to easily take it with me anywhere I want. When I don't have it with me though, my Google Pixel 4a serves as my camera because as they say, the best camera is the one you always have with you. And in that case, it's always going to be my trusty Pixel. The Pixel 4a is the most budget-friendly price out of the entire Pixel lineup this year. And I mainly chose it because I needed to go back to using a fingerprint reader now that we've introduced masks into our daily lives. And needed something that if I drop it by accident, I knew it wouldn't cost me an arm and a leg to replace. But what is having a smartphone and all this tech for if you don't have good Wi-Fi? I recently replaced my Wi-Fi router with a Google Nest Mesh router and I don't think I can ever look back. Now my house has coverage in every corner and I appreciate how conveniently I can manage all of my router settings directly from the Google Home app. One of the nicest surprises we've gotten from Google this year is the release of the Chromecast with Google TV the next generation of Chromecast devices, which sports a brand new UI and a remote control. I have one of these in all the TVs in my home. It's very intuitive, and the recommendations powered by Google AI are always on point. 
As promised, I'm giving away a Chromecast with Google TV to one of you. All you have to do to enter is go to the link right there and submit your entries. Good luck. If you like this video, consider giving it a like. And if you want to see more new content, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Thank you.